Okay, this is me showing y'all how to make a map like this, the simplest way that I know how. So watch, and hopefully this helps. Okay, so I see on the first map, I'm gonna use a little pencil to start with and then do it with some dots. Over here, this is kind of where New Orleans is. So I'm gonna make a dot here, big fat dot so I can see it. I'm gonna make another dot here because if I go from the map, the Louisiana Purchase goes to around here. So I'm gonna make another dot here. So I got two dots, that's it. I'm gonna now connect those dots with kind of a squiggly line. Doesn't have to be perfect. So a little squiggly line. Okay, that's gonna be one border. Then I'm gonna make another dot right on the other side of New Orleans here for the Louisiana Purchase. It finishes, if I look at the map, somewhere over here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So you're right about here. Okay, then I'm gonna make two more dots. I'm gonna make one more dot here, kind of right squat in the middle. And one more dot out here. So now I have four dots, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna connect those four dots again with my little squiggly line approach. Doesn't have to be a straight line. Kind of want it uneven. Okay, and now this space here, that represents the Louisiana Territory. Next thing I need to do is now I need to uh, create a path for Lewis and Clark. Now they started in St. Louis, in Missouri, which is right about here on the map. Okay, so I got one dot here, another dot here. I got my third dot over here, and then I'm gonna make my fourth dot. This is where they wound up at the Pacific Ocean. So I got four dots, I got one, two, three, four. Now again, using my squiggly line approach, I'm gonna connect the four dots from here to here and then all the way out to here. Not perfect, not drawn to scale by any stretch, just kind of a simple way of connecting all those dots. Now, I wanna show the border, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a marker, in this case I'm gonna use a brown one, to mark the border of the Louisiana Territory, the Louisiana Purchase. I'm gonna color in that penciled line from earlier. Okay, and now I'm seeing this line here, this dot here that I put in the middle. I need this a little fatter. So this is an easy fix. I want this a little fatter. I'm gonna erase this line. I'm gonna erase this line. I'm gonna make this territory just a little bit fatter with my pencil, using the mechanical pencil here, just to give myself a little more space, okay? Since it's not being drawn to scale, it's fine. Now I'm gonna trade this in right here. Again, and this will represent the Louisiana territory. This spot colored in brown here, and then this other path, this is the path that Lewis and Clark and their Corps of Discovery took for the expedition. We call that in a different color. Okay, all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Easy peasy. Nice and thick, I want it obvious. I don't mind coloring the pencil line that's underneath it, kind of helps. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just the easier way. All right, so now I've got my path. The next thing I wanna do, is I'm gonna put the title here of this map, and it's gonna be Lewis and Clark Expedition. Eighteen oh four, eighteen oh six. Underline it. All right. I'm gonna start labeling some stuff here. I know this is St. Louis. This is where we started. I know down here is the Gulf of Mexico. I know this is the Pacific Ocean. And now I'm gonna make myself a little map key. And on that map key, I'm gonna identify what the lines represent. So this box right here, this will represent the path of Lewis and Clark, or the route. And I'm gonna make another box, and that will represent the actual Louisiana Territory. I'll label that. Now I gotta color that Louisiana Territory a certain color, so why not green? Green makes the most sense since it's land. So inside of all these brown lines from earlier, that's gonna represent the color of the Louisiana Purchase or the Louisiana Territory, the lands that Lewis and Clark moved through. I'm shaded in green. Since I shaded it in green here, 
I'm gonna shade it in green here so that it's clear from the key what that means. Another element that has to be here that isn't here yet are the Rocky Mountains. So I'm just gonna make these kind of squiggly lines like mountains all in this area. And then I'm gonna make yet another box here and I'll put those squiggly lines and the key I'm gonna write Rocky Mountains. And then finally, the last thing we're gonna do for now is I'm gonna make a compass rose, very simple. And let's pick another color. Let's try gray, okay? Compass rose, really just a T with north, south, east, west. You can make it fancier later. But now, if you look, we started with a bunch of dots and now we have the Louisiana purchase or territory. We have the path of Lewis and Clark. We have the Rocky Mountains. We have the Pacific Ocean, Gulf of Mexico, St. Louis. We have the title. We have the compass rose, and we have our map key. Right, last thing I'm going to do here that I didn't do earlier real fast is I'm just going to shade in the water. Generally, blue is the best color when shading in water, as water is blue. All right. So I'm shading in Pacific Ocean really quickly, the side of the colored pencils. Uh, I'll shade in Gulf of Mexico. I'm not too concerned with the Atlantic Ocean as it's pretty far away from everything's taking place, so I'm not going to really spend too much time on that right at this moment after I shade this in. I am going to shade in the land as well. Um, I'm going to go with brown for now. Okay, so again, the land representing the Louisiana Purchase or the Louisiana Territory, I colored it in green. And so this, I just wanted to use a different color. So I'm using brown. And again, my focus really is on, and your focus should really be on um, the regions they explored and, and traveled through. So I don't need to know too much of the specifics of anything east of the Mississippi, Mississippi. We want to focus on lands west of the Mississippi. So there you go. It looks pretty solid considering we did this relatively quickly. I think this is going to work out to be maybe seven or eight minutes long tops. Um, check it out. Hope it helps.